What will the deficit be by the end of next month? We will get deficits down because we're clamping down on the staffing agencies, on expensive management consultants, and introducing better public procurement. But the Honourable General General has to recognise this. We said that we would back the Simon Stevens plan, which means at least eight billion more into the NHS, although we put ten billion more into the NHS at the last election and subsequently, Labour have refused to back that extra money. And so when you look at the NHS today, and my mother is equally proud of the NHS as I am, and I know she would be pleased to know 1.9 million more people going to A&E, 1.6 million more operations, 10,700 more doctors, 11,800 more nurses. And I have to say, I think if Nye Bevan was here today, he'd want a seven-day NHS, because he knew the NHS was for patients up and down our country. Naibu Van would be turning in his grave if he could hear the Prime Minister's attitude towards the NHS. He was a man with vision. He was a man with vision who wanted a health service for the good of all. I asked my mother. Oh, I think I know what my mother would say. I think she'd look across the dispatch box and she'd say, put on a proper suit, do up your tie and sing the national anthem. advice, my late mother would have said, stand up for the principle of a health service free at the point of use for everybody. Because that's what she dedicated her life to, as did many of her generation.